This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Problem number 23 from the 10B, which was also number 22 on the 12B. So we have an ant that starts on the number line at zero, and for n equals one, two, three, it chooses a time duration t of n and an increment x of n independently and uniformly at random from the interval from zero to one. So during the nth step of the process, we move xn units in the positive direction using up to tn minutes. If the total elapsed time has exceeded one minute during the nth step, she stops at the end of that step. Otherwise, she continues with the next step, taking at most three steps in all. What is the probability that Amelia's position when she stops will be greater than one? Well, first of all, the fact that it's at most three steps is really going to limit the problem. And in fact, you'll notice this on the AMC. When you have so much text, there's usually some sort of limited condition that makes the problem not that hard uh, compared to like, just what it looks like at first glance. So we have three steps in all. So either we have three steps or two steps. Now we can't have zero steps and we also cannot have one step because she has to take at least two steps since the maximum time in one step is one minute and the total elapsed time has exceeded one minute during the end step. Okay, so what is the chance that she's going to take two steps? Well, for her to take two steps, the length of the steps doesn't matter. What determines the number of steps she, take, she takes is the time that it takes her. So if it takes her T1 uh, time on the first one and T2 time, on the second one, uh, on the second step, we want to find if she's taking only two steps, this is going to be greater than one because that means that after T2, after the second step, she's going to stop. We want to find the probability of this. Well, that's going to be geometric probability. We can plot T2 on the y-axis and T1 on the x-axis. In fact, a lot of the variables in this problem come down to some sort of geometric probability. So if we were to plot the line T1 equals T2, and then the part that we want is this right here. This is the part where t1 plus t2 is going to be greater than 1. That's 1 half. So the probability of this happening is 1 half. Okay, so once t1 plus t2 is greater than 1, what do we know now? Well, now we also know that our steps need to be greater than 1. That's the probability we're trying to find. So x1 plus x2 is greater than 1. Well, what's the probability of that happening? Well, this is just the same problem as above. So it's just going to be one half again. So with two steps, it's going to be one half times one half equals one fourth chance that Amelia's position is going to be greater than one. Okay, so next case, what if we have three steps? Now this one's going to get a bit trickier, but we're gonna follow basically the same process. So now, if you have three steps, that means that T1 plus T2, that's going to be less than one. And either T1 plus T2 is greater than one or it's less than one. So if it's greater than one with a one half probability, it's going to be less than one with a one half probability. So T1 plus T2, that's a one half probability of happening. And now we get to take three steps. So X1 plus X2 plus X3. And we want to find the probability of this being greater than 1. Okay, well, this is, again, geometric probability. But instead of thinking of this as a 2D plane, we'll think of it as a 3D plane. Um, our total area in the 3D plane, so if we draw the 3D plane, is it's a unit cube, right? Because each of these variables can go anywhere from 0 to 1. So we just need a rough sketch. And then you don't really need during the test to draw the cube, right? As long as you know what we're looking for. Um, but here we'll draw it. Okay, so now for x1 plus x2 plus x3 to be greater than 1, this is just going to be a sort of tetrahedron located in the corner with each side length being greater than 1, right? So for the chance of that happening to be greater than one. And that tetrahedon, that's going to look something like this. So it's going to come down here. And look like this. 
So this height is 1, and the base is a right triangle with legs of length 1. Okay, so what is the area of this total unit cube? Well, that's 1. And the area of the tetrahedon, that's what we don't want. We don't want it to be less than 1. We want it to be greater than 1. So it's going to be this outside area right here. So we're going to subtract it from 1. So 1 minus the volume of that tetrahedron, that's going to be base, which is 1 times 1 times 1 half. And we can think of it as like a pyramid. So it's times the height. And since it's a pyramid, we divide by 3. So this is equal to 5, 6. So over. This is equal to 5, 6 chance of happening. And then, once again, we had a one-half chance of going into this case. Uh, so this is one-half times 5 over 6 equals 5 over 12. So our final answer is going to be 5 over 12 plus 1 fourth, which is 2 over 3, which would be choice C. And we're done. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.